So let's talk about the HTML for this, uh, this page. And here it is. So uh, if we see on the side here, I've got my um, font information we stored last time. I've got an HTML folder or file. You don't have that yet. We've got our images and we've got the um, cherry cropped JPEG in there. So you're going to make a new file and call it hero.html. So go ahead, file new. You're going to save it. And uh, I've already typed it, so instead of you watching me type, I'm going to show you what you need to put into yours. And uh, for better or worse, web design involves a lot of typing. And the only way you learn to do it is by doing it. So I could put these files up there and you could just copy and paste, but then what would be the point? It would be uh, too easy. So what you need to do is in your new file, type in this stuff. So what I suggest you do is uh, pause the video, make your file, type this stuff in, put them side by side. So you can actually see it, and then we'll proceed. So I'm going to go ahead and proceed. The rest of this, the uh, the copy in here, is provided as a resource on D2L. So the all the paragraphs are in there, and and the Greeking and stuff. So you don't need to type all that in. The only thing you will need to do is in the very first paragraph. Uh, you're going to add class equal no indent into that paragraph tag. So this part you can all just copy and paste from that file that's provided. Uh, then you will need to type in the remainder, which is the things down at the bottom. So this is our footer. It's got a link in it that goes to some website about Minneapolis since that's what our page is about. Uh, so let me talk about this a little bit. Up at the top is the link to Google Fonts. This is the information that is in our Hero Fonts RTF, uh, which won't look like much in, in brackets because the way it displays things. But if you open that up in text edit, uh, you could copy and paste that in, or you can just type what's here. But again, don't in brackets it won't display right because of the, the format of the, that it's in. Okay. Uh, there's also a link here to a style sheet. We haven't made the style sheet yet. That will be our next uh, exercise. And so then the main part of our document is the uh, we've got a wrapper around everything. Also, you call a container, just in your style sheet, remember whatever you use for the ID. So for now, just to keep everybody the same, let's just use wrapper. But if you're used to container, I get that. And there's my picture. It's going to link to the picture. I've given it an ID, which is just a way of naming it and referencing it in our style sheets to distinguish it from other images. I've given a source because it's in the images folder. I've typed images slash, slash means go into the folder called images, find the picture. I put in my headline, that's an H1. All of that goes in the header. And then um, I've got an article. And actually let me move this div. Uh, our wrapper should actually go all the way down. So let's command X that. And you go down to here and command V or paste so that that's the wrapper going all the way around everything. Okay. All right. uh, so article is another HTML tag and makes a box just like a, a div, only it, it at some point they decided to start naming things in using more meaningful words than generic things like a div. So header is one example of that. Articles is an example of that. So inside of our article, we've got a headline. 
and we've got a, a span. A span is an inline element, which means it doesn't stack up like blocks do. Like things like paragraphs and headlines or block elements, they stack on top of each other and they, without styling, they occupy the full width of the browser window. A span is a way we can do something to uh, a specific, in this case, a word. So I've got summer here. In my styling, I'm going to want to do something to it. So I've wrapped a span tag. So there's the beginning of the span tag. I've assigned it a class of warm. And there's the end of my span tag. So we're doing something to just the word summer, but it's not going to, to turn it into a block element and put it on its own line. It would just, in this case, we're just going to change the color of the type. Okay. Uh, my class of no indent is going to uh, take paragraph indent off of this paragraph. And the other paragraphs will have an indent because we're going to add that in our style sheet. So you just need to type in the top part of your document, copy and paste that uh, text document that's on D2L, and then type in the stuff at the bottom. Uh, save it to your folder. Let's call it hero.html. So that's going to go into our hero site folder. So first step really is, if you haven't done it already, on your, your desktop, make a folder called hero site and put the images folder in it, as we showed in, our, uh, in the written instructions. Inside of the images folder, you want the cherry cropped JPEG and you're going to save this hero.html inside of there. In the hero fonts, that's just the text document. Open it in text edit or notepad and copy and paste. It, it looks like gibberish in here because it includes all kinds of coding instructions that are not in HTML. And save that. So in the next video, uh, we're going to look at the style sheet and I will uh, walk you through the style sheet and that's going to get attached to the HTML document and then we will have a, a finished page.